Welcome to Electronic Geek. In the last video, we saw about multiplexers. In this video, we will be starting with demultiplexers. So, what are demultiplexers? Demultiplexers are exact reverse of a multiplexer. A multiplexer is a device which converts many to one. So, demultiplexer is a circuit which converts one to many. Okay, so that's the only basic difference about uh, converting something a uh, kind of a serial data to a parallel data. Okay, so uh, let's start with the notes that I have prepared further on. We will proceed with the Tinkercad simulation and uh, we'll design our circuit before on Proteus. So let's start. So yeah, so first of all, uh, I've written about demultiplexer. So demultiplexer is also a similar circuit like a multiplexer as I said before. It also has select lines and uh, there's there's a small difference between a demultiplexer and a decoder don't get uh, confused between two in case of a demultiplexer a single data line is split to multiple output lines whereas in case of decoder there may be more than one uh, input data line and uh, there can be many output lines so this is a small difference between a demux and a decoder so don't uh, mix that up so to start with the design of a demux first of all uh, we'll refer the the truth table over here so on the input all time we have a single data line and s1 and s0 and s1 are our control switches uh, the select lines which determine which output uh, will be uh, taken and here are these four outputs y0 y1 y2 and y3 so equations for y0 can be seen over here which it is d s1 bar s0 bar why s1 and s0 bar because here s1 and s0 both are zero uh, in the next case of y1 we are having s0 as one so no need to complement that only thing we'll complement is s1 so it is d s1 bar s0 same for uh, y2 and same for y3 okay so uh, we will start uh, this circuit design on proteus and later on uh, we'll simulate it on tinker guide let's start so here we are in Proteus for our circuit simulation. So we'll start taking the components and we'll design the schematic first. So the first thing that we need is an AND gate, but uh, there are three product terms. So we will prefer having a three input AND gate and that is 7411, which is a three input AND gate. We will be taking 74HC11. It's for high speed CMOS and we need an inverter uh, 7404 hex inverter gate logic toggle this select ok and an LED to see the output we choose the red LED so let's start designing the circuit first thing is we'll place this AND gate as we need 4 outputs we will be having 4 such gates like this and like this uh, logic toggle switch which uh, one will be common for data here what we will be doing is we will be using the wire label mode so the circuit does not get messy so double click simple right click place wire label right D that's it and every AND gate will be having that data line So double click right click and place the label yes. capital D make sure that you do not use a small D at one place and capital at other it won't recognize the nets and LED on the output
connect it go to terminals place the ground Yeah, and now we need uh, to see the select lines. So we'll again use this logic toggle and we'll place them over here. Right click, rotate. Right click, rotate. We'll keep some distance. between them and uh, okay so this is s0 this is s1 also one more thing is uh, we are needing complemented uh, inputs at times so we will take that also not gate place it like this right click rotate place it right click rotate and connect this connect this so our first uh, our first equation for y0 is d s1 s s1 complement s0 complement so this is s0 s0 bar s1 bar the next is s1 bar s0 so s1 bar s0 the third is s1 s0 bar so this is s1 state and s0 bar which is uh, this one and the last is s1 s0 so like this sorry this and uh, same over here yeah so our circuit has been done and uh, let's give a try whether it's working or not over here click here change this to one yeah perfect it's working we'll simulate it on tinkercad for better experience uh yeah it's working fine so uh, this is our schematic and uh, we'll move to tinkercad for simulation so let's get there first thing we need is a breadboard search for breadboard we'll take this it's loaded be taking needing a power supply and this one we'll be connecting the plus pins over here so that we can get uh, this plus 5 volt and ground voltage on both channels we'll be even connecting this part down here so that if at all needed we can take a plus 5 volt connection from down and this is the ground connection we'll change the color as these are power lines change this to red this to black sorry uh, now it's time to choose our IC so first of all what we'll be needing is a three input and gate so we'll be searching for and so uh yeah triple three input and gate seven four one one so we'll be taking this particular one 
so as we look into our circuit we are making 1 is to 4 dmux so we need four particular terms on the output so four particular and gates so how much does this have this is input 1a 1b okay so okay so this will be providing us with uh, three outputs we will be needing one more take this place it over here so first we will connect the power and the ground pins of this ic uh, such that this ic works so connect this to plus vcc and same with this this to ground here and same with here we will be needing control switches so can take uh, this one like this and we will be needing an inverter gate also 7404 inverter gate place it here move this a little bit okay so now uh, this particular 4a is s0 we are considering this as s0 and this as s1 and let this be the data line so um, connect this all over here this is the data line s1 s0 all the above pins 2 plus vcc this and now comes the uh, con making connections so the first okay we will be needing leds also we will be needing four leds led one then two then uh, three and four connect the ground pins cathode is connected to ground okay we'll be needing a resistor so resistor connected to anode like this four resistors and connect cathode to ground this So LED connections are done and uh, first term that we need for Y0 is S1 bar S0 bar D. So this is S0, we'll be connecting this S0 over here. This is S1, we'll be connecting it over here, see input 2. So now this particular is S0 bar and this is s1 bar so the first term we need is s1 bar s0 bar and d so this is s0 bar connect it over here uh, let's say we'll be using the second one so 2a this is s0 bar this is s1 bar 2b and uh, this is d data and this particular output will be given to any one of the leds let's say this is y0 connect it like this all the output pins will be changing the color to gray and let's even change the color for uh, inverted outputs we'll be keeping it purple and also this is inverted output yeah okay so our first connection has been done other one is the y1 y1 is s1 bar s0 d okay so 
input three three eight three b and three three c it's like this we need s1 bar so this is s1 bar take the connection from here connect it like this this is inverted connection change color to purple next term is s0 and take it from here too this is s0 and d quite simple and this is the output so we'll be connecting it to this particular LED route it from below connect it over here change this to grey okay the now comes of a third connection which is y2 s1 s0 bar d we'll be connecting to this ic let's not connect the third one uh, over here like it will be perfectly divided 2 and 2 over here so it's s1 s0 bar this is s1 s1 yeah placing over here s0 bar which is uh, this this is s0 bar output of pin 1 be taking it and connect it and last is data input which is this and output will be connected to third LED like this change the color to gray and for the fourth one it is S1 F2 D okay so it's quite simple so S0 S1 and D connect the output to the last LED change the color to gray before starting with the simulation let's check whether every connection is correct or not uh, do not miss okay yeah so a big mistake over here see this particular IC the power pin and the ground pin are not connected should never forget doing like this connect it to, to plus VCC and ground pin over here let's run the simulation so right now this particular data pin is low uh, so irrespective of anything and as this is zero zero so output shall be on this particular LED let's turn this data input high see this is glowing when s0 is 0 and s1 is 0 we are getting output on uh, y0 and like the next connection s0 is 1 see and the next one will change this plus and this is 0 see the third one and now both high will be having the fourth one so this is how a demultiplexer works uh, and this is the end of our simulation uh, in the next lecture we will be uh, in the next video we will be starting with some uh, com bit, little bit complicated circuits on demultiplexer so this is it for today thank you for being till here thank you so much do like comment share and subscribe to my channel for such videos do let me know your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much